Hello everyone and welcome back to the Star Sector Missions. So for this first one today, we're going to be looking at a Zorg mission. There are three Zorg 1, 2, and 3. Difficulty is irrelevant. I like the theme here. And the mission is comply to Zorg Directive. <laughs> Assimilate or destroy all targets. So this is our fleet and this is the enemy fleet. When I last played, the Zorg were, let's say, pretty powerful. Um... What was that, like 10 months ago? 8 months ago, something like that? We'll see if they still are. I'm assuming that they probably are. This ship is huge. Zorg Cube Class Configurated Unit Matrix. Okay. So if you haven't figured out, these are based on the Borg. A Star Trek race. Who are also really powerful. I remember that ship. Okay. So I can't actually use all the ships at once because of the... Deployment. Um, do I want to change these? Ah, whatever. We'll just take all the big ships first. Whew, this ship is huge. Command points. Nav buoy would be good. Let's have you capture that, I guess. And all the others will come up here to Com Relay Beta, and we're going to destroy things. Oh my god, this ship is insanely huge. And all my weapons are currently on auto fire, fire, which I guess is okay. The active ability this Zorg Displacer, if I remember correctly, it increases your maneuverability and your um, speed. Oh, these guys are so dead. So the thing is, the Zorg don't have any shields. At least this one doesn't. Did they use snap shields? I don't think they ever did, did they? But they have insane armor on all sides. And weaponry. Their weaponry is pretty good. And so what you want to do is that if one of your sides gets hit pretty hard, armor-wise, then you just hit on the Zorg Displacer and you, you turn really fast and expose a different side. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Ooh. Okay, so instead of sitting here, let us charge. Alright, so we are actually at our flux limit, so it would be good to withdraw from here. Oh, that, that one has shields. Okay. Maybe because it's a smaller ship. And yeah, so I'm going to try and withdraw here a little bit, and I'm going to vent. Although, I am kind of destroying this ship, so maybe I should wait. There we go. Alright, now I'm venting. Oh my gosh, that vent is so fast. I was expecting it to take a little while. Nope. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that ship is pretty big. I kind of want to pull away a little bit and let our other ships get in there and surround this guy. And I should probably try to get closer to that ship too. Or just stay right here because we're disabling all their weapon systems and destroying this one. 
And as you can see, we still have quite a few hall points. Alright, let's just do Source and Destroy. Oh, you know, we have more reinforcements. Now, I remember there was a certain weapon that the Zork used to have that if you held it in, because it was just a beam like all these other ones, that it would event it would say the Borg spiel, you know, like, we are the Borg. Or maybe it was we are the Zorg. Drop your weapon, or like lower your weapons and shields and all that. It was pretty cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say that the Zorg are still pretty strong. Like these, like this is the best craft I think that the faction we're fighting against has. And it doesn't even dent our armor. Look at that. Look at that. Jeez, the Zorg. <laughs> so insane. Alright. Who's someone else we haven't played with? Let's Battle for Heaven's Gate? Difficulty impossible. A giant hyperspace gate on the outskirts of the Valkyrian space still functional after the collapse as it was built far from the previous hyperspace network. It remains a point of major strategic value as supply convoys and military forces can be sent anywhere in the known sector through it, making it a target of almost everybody. This gate is especially vital to the Valkyrians, who has controlled it for decades and challenged due to their matchless military in the early days. Now, late during the modernization, when military forces from around the sector are being called back to be refitted, upgraded, and scrapped, the gate lies next to undefended. This was the opportunity the enemy had been waiting for, and a military force was sent to capture it. A military action of this size had never been seen before. The numbers were far beyond counting. The Valkyrians scrambled every single ship they had ready and rushed to its defense, which would become the largest space battle of known time. The largest... I don't know. I played a space battle on a stream for Star Sector the other day. That was a pretty big one. It took like almost an hour, I think. Okay, so we get this giant ship, support supercarrier. That is a lot of ships. So yeah, this is the Valkyrian faction. Okay. You are severely outnumbered and outgunned. Play accordingly. All ships are expendable. Losing the gate is not an option. The battlefield is massive. Make, your sh make sure your ships don't get isolated. Wow, this is pretty massive. Okay. Holy crap. So, ideally, we want to take everything up on the way there. Okay. So, we'll take this super carrier. Infinity Space Superiority Fighter Wing. And the game crashed. That's the... F First, it's crashed in a mission. I wonder if it's the Valkyrian mod. Oh yeah, when I saw the Valkyrian mod, it also put this Project Valkyrie on the loading screen. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna say that there's probably an issue. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll try it one more time, make sh sure it wasn't just a random thing, but we'll see. Nope. Okay. Well, I am going to turn that mod off then. Weird. Unfortunate. 
was kind of looking forward to that big battle. Especially since it was impossible when the first mission, you know, we did was just so easy. Alright, well maybe we'll come back to the Valkyrians another time. Alright, so besides them, I think we've played all these guys. We played this faction. I know we haven't played this one. That, okay, so we'll go here. Gadoon. Ah, the Gadoon. Okay. <laughs> Two ships. Wow, this is a really small one. Destroy the enemy forces. The GMS Shinko must survive. Okay. Alright, so the Kadoon. Yeah, they have these nuclear blast things. Yes, yes, yes. I remember this stuff. It's like giant green balls. Yeah. Okay. Forgot to. Oh, wait, I'm the only. I thought there was another ship here. I guess it's just me. Hybrid Drive. I don't know what that is. Alright, so it's a drive that makes us go faster, but we can still shoot. Not good. All right, now I'm now I'm surrounded. Now I'm surrounded. Get out of there! Oh, nuts! That didn't go anywhere. <laughs> well, okay. Still in this fight. Kind of. I haven't forgot about you. No, don't withdraw, I wanna kill you. Alright, well. I think we got this actually. Try to isolate this smaller ship. These annoying little phase fighters. to the map. Come on, come on, come on. All right. So our shield is dissipating, or flux is dissipating faster than they, the soldiers can 
get us, so... We'll just keep this up. Although... Okay. And burn out. I'm off the map. Still have armor in the front, that's okay. I want to stay close enough so he can't vent. The enemy fleet is defeated, what? It's right here. Oh, you got a flame out! You got a flame out! Ah, oh, he retreated. Okay, well, we won. Whew. So that shows off the Gadoon a little bit. They're a pretty cool faction. And I don't think we've seen the. Have we seen these guys? System defense hard. Error loading mission preview. Okay. Force a hegemony retreat by whatever means necessary. Your destroyer thermal lances will quickly tear through exposed enemy armor. Deploy your cruisers wisely. So what do we have on this? Grav cannon. Built in. Heavy maulers. Point defense. Missile launch. Oh no, rocket pack. Or pods. Okay. Flux Torpedo, that sounds cool. This looks like a... Yep, Carrier. Alright, so Thermal Lance. High Explosive, Tear Through Enemy Armor. Okay, Anti-Capital. That sounds kind of cool. Alright. Uh, let's grab... Escort Carrier... Grab some fi uh, fighter wings here. Freighter. Well, actually, we could probably grab everything, can't we? Yeah, okay. No capture points. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to order a heavy escort on me. Alright, the bomber wings, I want to stay around the escort carrier for right now, then I'll send them on a mission later. Hmm. And assign those as escorts, assign that as escorts. Fast missile racks. It's a cool missile launch sounds. What in the heck? Interesting. Let's see what's going on here. Oh boy, big ship. Big ship. I'll tell you what, we will just focus on one target at a time. That ship is 
dead. Apparently we've already messed that ship up pretty badly. Although now one of our ships are dead. Two of our ships are dead. That thing has so many missiles. Now it is surrounded. Am I even gonna get to fire off this main gun? And then he gets in my way, no! Wow. Crushed. Okay. And they're retreating. So that's what it looks like, in case you missed it through all the other stuff happening. That's what that main gun looks like. I guess we do search and destroy. I think they're in full retreat, though. Yeah, wow. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Those are some cool ships and some different... Uh, effects like off the of missiles and weapons. I'm not sure what the missile exploding into all those little lasers was, but I think it was affecting the enemy shields a lot. I think it was. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for the mission episode today. I'll see if I can get the Valkyrian mod to work again for the next mission or next episode. And eventually I'll start an actual Star Sector proper game. I just I don't have that much time right now uh, between Twitch and every, uh, other things. But anyway, thanks for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Take care.